Uh, welcome everyone. My name is uh, Nick Cuomo. I'm the principal of uh, St. John Paul in the Ponce, and I want to welcome um, everyone here uh, for this beautiful announcement and that we're excited to announce and partner with. Um, I'd like to welcome our regional director, Kate Branley. Um, I would like to welcome the Dorchester Post, along with uh, members of our regional staff and Mrs. Chenard, our VP. Um, but most importantly, I'd like to welcome AJ's family, uh, Arminda and Armani. We are so blessed to have you joining us. Um, and I begin in prayer, so putting our hands together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This is a Thanksgiving prayer for families. Lord, please bless this gathering of our family. It's a circle of strength and love. We are a close-knit group of fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, students, and teachers. And with every addition, our circle and our union grows. Help us realize how much we mean to each other each and every day and guide us so that our bond of love lasts eternally. We thank you for the many blessings and great abundance in our lives as we gather to celebrate and also remember all of our members of our family and the, and the spirit of giving that is ongoing throughout our entire year and throughout our entire lives as brothers and sisters of Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all things bright and good. Please continue to bless this loving family that gathers here today, our lives, our health, and our union together. We ask these things in all of Jesus' name, and we pray together in our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am very excited about the news that we're about to share together um, in relation to the A.J. Montero Memorial Scholarship. A.J. is a proud graduate of St. John Paul II Catholic Academy. And among many things, he was known for being a humble and loyal friend. Um, he would always welcome you with his infectious smile and humbleness. I remember talking with A.J.'s family. And while I was not here at St. John Paul when A.J. was here, I know Ms. Branley um, knows A.J. very well, and, and Ms. McAteer and many other staff members they talked about um, his ability to just light up a room and put a smile on your face um, and make a, such a strong connection with his friends. Um, and he's such a great role model for all of us to follow. Um, I also remember or a story was shared with me about um, he loves math, strong passion for math and mathematics. Um, and when we had Miss uh, Kachuk here, uh, she was always asking him, you know, um, show your work and he goes I don't need to I, I, I know it already I you know I don't need to show my work um, he was just so brilliant and and, and such um, you know at the same time he also accepted guidance and so if he needed to show his work he was right there um, supporting his teachers um, and making his family very proud and making his school very proud um, AJ was enrolled at Regis College studying business management and tragically he was taken from us in September of 2017. Last year, Arminda um, and Armani and AJ's family approached St. John Paul II Catholic Academy um, in a moment of, of, of grieving and, 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 and healing. They reached out to us, they said, what can we do to honor AJ's legacy here at St. John Paul? Because we know there's so many um, other areas and iterations where AJ Spirit uh, connects us. Um, we decided to create a memorial scholarship here at St. John Paul that was uh, awarded to an eighth grade student 
who demonstrated the characteristics that exhibited, that AJ exhibited here at St. John Paul. Those are the spirit of love, peace, and friendship. And this scholarship was designated to support a student who was pursuing Catholic education, who might not have that opportunity to do so. And we know that the first recipient of the A.J. Montero Memorial Scholarship um, is doing quite well. That is Jarrell Saget, and he will, um, he's at St. Joseph's Prep. And I've been talking with uh, the high school right now, um, and he's doing quite well. He's making A.J. very proud. He's making all of us very proud in terms of um, putting forth his best efforts in his academics um, and also being um, a, a community citizen um, and a friend at St. Joseph's Prep. And also, I think it's also very appropriate. Um, today, we were in uh, St. John Paul II. We were having our tag day today, um, and we brought in food donations uh, for the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry. Um, and it's a show, a sign of unity. It's a sign of community. And I, you know, following that with this ceremony and the ability to connect um, AJ's family with his alma mater here at St. John Paul with now the exciting news uh, that will come forward through the Dorchester uh, Post. We are excited that our family continues to grow, continues to recognize, celebrate, um, and connect more and more students um, with AJ's uh, message and that we are continuing to live that out each and every day. Um, so I'm very excited, and at this time, I'm going to call up AJ's family, um, Arminda Baptista. Let's clap it up. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for everyone attending. I created this annual Memorial Scholarship Fund um, in the memory of my son, AJ Montero, who was tragically taken away from us while getting a haircut at a local barbershop. I created the scholarship to honor my son, AJ, his life, and to keep his memory alive, but also to help a child continue the education at a Catholic high school. Because of the, because the Catholic education philosophy reveals a, a concern for education that combines sound knowledge, knowledge and skills, with an overall personal development rooted in Christian values. I believe this is where AJ embedded all his, all his strong morals, the love and the respect for God, his spirit of love, peace, and friendship. He was hardworking and determined. He was humble and loyal. As we know, AJ attended Pope John Paul Catholic Academy where he graduated in June 2010. He then attended the Catholic Memorial High School which he graduated in May 2014. Then he continued his education at Regis College with a business and major, oh my gosh, with a major in business management. While choosing a high school, uh, sorry, while choosing a college, he stated that he was not gonna go back to a Catholic school. Make your decisions, make your right decisions. At the end, he made a decision to go to Regis, which was another Catholic school. And I believe Catholic schools is just where his foundation was and where he, he was more comfortable and that's where his morals just lies. So my goal with this AJ Memorial Annual Scholarship is to give a child the same opportunity as my son had to gain an education that is founded with love, morals, and faith. In the words of Pope Francis, he said, Catholic education gives soul to the world. And now we're giving AJ soul to the world as well. Thank you. And at this time, I'd uh, like to welcome up uh, Juan Perfetti from uh, the Dorchester Post with their announcement on how um, the Dorchester Post is also going to support the annual AJ Montero Memorial Scholarship. I'm going to try to talk without this, if you can listen to me. Can you listen to me? Yeah. 
Well, before starting, I want to highlight a brief part of the gospel according to Matthew. Don't judge other people and you will not be judged. You will be judged in the same way that you judge others. And the forgiveness you give to others will be given to you. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I want to use this opportunity to thank everyone who has made this possible. I want to thank uh, Principal Nick Cuomo for your hospitality. I want to thank the St. John Paul II Academy for your service to the community. And especially, I want to thank neighbor Arminda Batista. Arminda, I want to thank you for being an example of courage and for showing us that there is nothing stronger than love. Your love for your son, AJ, is so great that despite all the hatred that caused his physical loss, despite all the pain that this act of violence caused in so many people, you chose to share your love for AJ with the community and created the AJ Montero Scholarship Fund to promote peace and unity in the neighborhood. As a nonprofit, non-governmental, and non-partisan neighborhood-focused media organization, our mission in Comunicas and Dorchester Post is to support the efforts of neighbors towards the creation of a better global society. So we have decided to unconditionally support your cause with a permanent advertisement to raise awareness about AJ's story with the hope that many children in the community will get a good education thanks to the AJ Montero Fund Scholarship and also hoping that acts of violence like the one that ended AJ's life in this planet do not happen again and that the love will prevail in the community. Long live AJ. Thank you very much.